Yeah, the outposts are becoming a nightmare now. Malfunctioning issues going on. And I just want to walk through this again. And I, I'll tell you what it all links back. It links back to the transfer container <clears throat> at the final base having like hardly any ability to hold any actual kind of mass. You know, unless you want to sit there and fly back and forth to pick up like 400 units of materials nonstop, that just seems really ridiculous how this whole thing was set up. I don't know. There's got to be a workaround for this. But here you can see I have all my extractors coming into, uh, you know, my storage is large, right? Okay. No problem here. This is my aluminum production. I have this coming over here to the transfer container. The transfer container is coming over here to the uh, the output for this particular uh, uh, cargo link area. Only that. It's set up that way so when the ship lands, it's picking up what's only in this particular box. Now let's go ahead and get down here on the ground. Now, this is the box I'm talking about, the outgoing cargo link. See, but we have an issue going on here. Okay, well, pardon me, we have aluminum and beryllium. Okay, the ship will pick up what's in this container. Now, at first it was working just fine. Not a big deal. See, but now I come over here and I've got this backflow coming in here because Everything is not offloading as the ship is going back and forth through its cycle because the very end trail of my whole setup I have going here, the stupid uh, transfer container doesn't hold enough stuff at all. I mean like 400 units. So I'm gonna have to sit here and take these manually. Yeah, I'd increase my carry weight just to frickin' try to fix this problem. Yeah, I'm a little irritated about this. Okay, so that's the first base area here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my iron area right now. I don't know, let me know if any of you guys have a workaround with this. I, I tell you, I don't know. Okay, so let's see where's iron, iron's down here. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna have the same problems down here. I, I just know it. Travel, jeez comes down to the stupid uh, transfer containers. Yeah, it's, robots are all stuck inside there. Okay, the ship's over there. All right, so. All right, this cargo link here, the ship lands, right? Okay, there's nothing in here because the ship is landing, depositing the materials right here. So this should be working as expected, which it is. This is coming from the aluminum area. And of course this uh, container here, the incoming, because the ship is landing, putting these materials in here, this unit here has, yeah, let's see if it even works. I was having malfunctions today with these, and it was a real pain in the butt. Like, uh, some of the features weren't working. It's like it was, like, just loading. Okay, so the ship is landing there. That's coming from the aluminum area. Okay, so what's happening now is the output link is coming from this platform, cargo link, over here to the outgoing, right here, this little box. Okay, and, of course, in this base, the iron base... I have all the warehouses right here with an out, uh, outgoing link coming to my uh, transfer container, which I have another output link coming over here to the outgoing slot on this. Now, let's hop on over to this one because I will bet you $10 to a dime that we have an overflow happening there as well because of the stupid transfer containers. I'm gonna freaking break a leg falling. Oh, maybe not, okay. All right, there's our iron. 
outgoing. Remember we had the uh, output links coming to the outgoing because the ship landing here is picking this stuff up. But I will almost guarantee you because of what's going on at the last base, yep, look at this. We have material in here. So I gotta take this. Oh God. You know, I wish that we had a way Yo, why can't these ships? Why can't the ships like have some kind of an auto sell? I'm not talking mass money maker passive, but that's kind of what you know my understanding was. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's yeah, I scream and yell that I, I'm not informed. I don't know what I'm doing, but. It's not my fault that the whole design came out this way. Okay, so this is the final uh, area where everything comes in. Now let's see what's going on here. Okay, so. Shouldn't be outgoing. Okay, outgoing has nothing. Everything should be in the incoming bin. Which it is. Beryllium, iron, and aluminum. Okay, and my output links, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up again. Hopefully this thing doesn't glitch out and get stupid. Let's go up so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so output link is coming from this uh, car, uh, uh, transfer, yeah, cargo link <clears throat> over to my solid storages, right? Okay, solid storage output link is going to the transfer container but then right here I have another output link coming from the storage container to the fabricator and another output link coming from the fabricator to the warehouses we're making uh, you know the frames the still frames and then of course from the warehouse here I have another output link coming to the transfer container. But guess what? The transfer containers are stupid because they, I'm sorry, they don't hold diddly do. I mean, 400 units. I mean, you have this happening, okay? Whether you have intergalactic setup or something this way. Okay, I have adaptive frames here now. I'm gonna take this to my inventory too. Aluminum, 400. What the world? Transfer. I can't. I can't even take that. Yeah, yeah. I'm pro actually. I'm probably overloaded. See, that's what I'm talking about. This whole thing is just. Uh, what the world? Okay, we suddenly have. This thing is overloaded. These something needs to happen with these transfer containers. <clears throat> Look at that. Because this is causing some serious issues. I know for a fact that uh, some of the functions at my uh, other uh, outposts I was working on the day literally were not working because it was like having to try to load in the fact that we had all these <clears throat> backlogged <clears throat> assets going on. See, but now this is a good thing. You see all the red lights on the uh, warehouses here and the red light over here on the uh, storage containers? That means they're not full. If you have a green light, it means they're full. So you see, now we're looking good only because You know, I went out of my way to raise my carry weight ridiculously to fix this kind of an issue. You know, this transfer container should hold a heck of a lot more. And I really think we need some kind of an automated system where these automated ships can somehow offload cargo and sell some because you saw what happened previously, right? The containers on the cargo links we're filling back up because the ships could not fully unload. So it is problematic. I mean, for me, it was causing a 
like everything to lag out and part of the functions on my outposts not even work. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you've experienced the same problems, like maybe your big ship platforms up here are not working the right way. That's probably why. So keep that in mind. Man, I'd, I'd love to see some kind of a solution in the future for this. Other than that, you guys keep safe. I'll see you on the next star-filled video. Peace.